What's going on, people? It's your grandfather. They count up the numbers, and you and I just might be coming up short. Let's talk about it. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever part day you find yourself in. I love you. It's your grandfather, people, and we're talking about coming up short. You and I getting a short in the stick. It is predicted that this year the wealth of the top 5% shall surpass the rest of the world. I mean, the top 5% will be making more money than 95% of us, people. I don't think you hear me, people. The top 5% will be making more money than the rest of the world. That just don't make sense. Saying that one billion people would be living off less than a dollar twenty-five a day. That's a dollar twenty-five. That's less than bus fare. I don't want you going nowhere. I want you locked in your homes. <laughs> Just try to lock it down, people. These numbers are right. One out of every nine persons will be on the verge of starvation or incapable of feeding themselves. That don't even sound. I don't even know what to say. Supposedly, the average income gonna be about $51,000 a year. Numbers seem a little high. No sound. Numbers don't sound right. And the 5% pulling about $2.7 million annually. You gotta say, did I get a cut? Did I get some of that dope? <laughs> what about me? Now, the majority of this wealth could be traced back to 147 companies the majority of this wealth going to banks and insurance companies. Now the banks have a combined wealth of $25.1 billion. That equals out to everybody in the world receiving $3,500 or running the United States government for seven years. That's every man, woman, boy, and girl receiving $3,500 or running the United States government for seven years. Now this is money the banks are making off of you and I, I and you, we all know that money equals power, power equals control. With six media organizations running the news that you and I receive, now that equals out to 233 people being in control of the news given to you. And with 233 people being in control of the news that's given to you, how could they possibly have the best interests of 3.1 million people in mind? And with more and more politicians taking money from special interest groups, who have their special interests in mind, our interests seem to be going by the wayside. That it used to be that they were servants of the people, now they're leaders of the people. And with that turn of the phrase, it tells you that we are serving them now. And with the media built to distract and not to give you the news that's vital to you, I'm gonna need your awareness to come up, people. I'm gonna need you to stop paying attention to what your favorite star's wearing and stop paying attention to those stories that they're glancing over. That little story on page six might just have your well-being in mind. So I'm going to need you to stay informed, people. I'm going to need you to start paying attention to detail. I'm going to need you to start paying attention to what they're saying and what they're not saying. Because your best interest is always a concern of mine. Now get out there and find out what's going on. Not for yourself. You do it for me. <laughs> and with that being said, I'd like to thank Top 10 for some of this information. I'd like to thank the U.S. government for some of the other information that I shared. They have no area letting you know exactly what's going on. Then I'd like to thank those that's doing it to you for the information that they share. Because they will leave their information out in plain sight. All you have to do is go and find out what the heck is going on. Now, that being said, it's your grandfather. Your well-being is always a concern of mine. God loves you and so do I. Peace. Have a blessed day.